Hello friends, in the last class we have seen how to construct a DFA for a given language. In this class we will see uh, formal definition of NFA, how to construct NFA and the conversion from NFA to DFA. So uh, before we start we will see uh, the definition of NFA. Uh, what is NFA? It, uh, it is also a set of five tuples Q, Sigma, Delta, Q0 and A. Uh, in DFA also we have seen uh, these tuples were same. So what is the difference between NFA and DFA? Only delta will differ here. Rest all the tuples Q, Sigma, Q0 and A will be same as DFA. So Q is the set of state here also. Sigma is input alphabet. Q0 is my start state. A is my set of final state. So what is the uh, transition function here? In DFA my transition function was a mapping from Q into Sigma to Q. Means for each input alpha, uh, I mean for any input alphabet A from each state we will have only one transition function. Whereas in NFA I can have more than one transition for a given input alphabet. So that's why it is uh, mapping from Q into sigma to 2 to the power 3 because I can have more than one transition and uh, sigma union null uh, because null transition is also allowed here. So the language accepted by NFA is also a regular language. And uh, we'll see one example uh, for the given language L, uh, where L is W and W belongs to A, B, A, B power N or A, B, A power N. So, this is my uh, NFA for the given language. See here, uh, like uh, why it is NFA? Because from state Q0 for input alphabet epsilon, I have two transition here. So, that's why it is NFA. And in NFA it is not necessary to show all the transition from each state. Like for state Q0, Q1, I have shown the transition only for input alphabet A. I have not shown transition for B. Similarly, for Q2 I have shown only for B, not for A. So in DFA I have to show the transition function for all the possible input alphabet from each state. But in NFA it is not necessary. And uh, we will see the conversion from NFA to DFA now. Here I am going to discuss uh, subset construction method. So uh, like some NFA will be given to us and we have to write the equivalent in DFA from that. So some uh, in NFA also we will have some start state, we will have some final state. So whatever is the start state in NFA that will become the start state of DFA also. So we will start with the start state of NFA. Suppose it is Q0 and that will be added to QD. And uh, step 2 what I have to do, I have to write the transition function for that Q0 and whatever new state I am getting that I have to uh, add in the transition table. So, so here for Q0 I have written transition function. So in step 2 what I am doing for each state QI, QJ, QK in QD I have to write the transition function for each input symbol. Okay, so suppose I have a I have a state QI, QJ, QK and I have to write a transition function for that. Suppose for this state and input alphabet is A, I have to write a transition function. How will I write? The transition function will be QI A union QJ A union QK A. Okay, so I have to repeat this step, uh, repeat this step until I start getting uh, the same state. Okay, and uh, uh, step 3 is what? Uh, QA, QB, QC belongs to QD. If suppose this is the state and it belongs to QD, it will be final if at least one of the state QA, QB and QC is final in the NFA. Okay, now we will take one example then it will be more clear to you. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a given NFA and we have to write an equivalent DFA for this. Okay, so from the diagram it is clear it is NFA. Why? Because for state Q0, uh, for input alphabet 0, I have two transition. Means for state uh, Q0, if uh, for input alphabet 0, I can give to Q1 and or I can remain in same state Q0. So I have two transition here. So that's why uh, it is NFA. Now to write the equivalent DFA, what will I do? My step 1 is what? My start state of uh, NFA will become the start state of DFA also. So I will start with the start state of NFA that is Q0 and I have to write the transition function for that for each possible input. So inputs are 0 and 1 so I have written the transition function for 0 and 1 from state Q0. So from state Q0 for 0 I have two possible states so Q0 and Q1 so I will write like this and for 1 I have only one transition defined here so Q1. So 
Q0 was my current state. Other than Q0, whatever I am getting, that will be my new state. So now I have to write the transition function for Q0, Q1 and Q1 also. So for Q0, Q1, transition function I have to write for 0 and 1 both. So for 0, how will I calculate? Q0, 0, union Q1, 0. So Q0, 0 is what? Nothing but Q0, Q1 and Q1, 0 is Q2. So the union of Q0, Q1 and Q2. So um, for Q0, Q1, 0, uh, Q0, Q1, Q2 I am getting. Similarly for Q0, Q1, if I take 1 as an input, so that will be Q0, 1, union Q1, 1. So Q0, 1 is Q1, Q1, 1 is Q2. Okay. So these two states are also new. So I have to write the transition function for these two states also Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q1, Q2. Now uh, for Q1 I have taken here, Q1, 0 is nothing but um, Q2 and uh, Q1, 1 is also Q2. Now I will take Q0, Q1, Q2. Q0, Q1, Q2 means Q0, 0, union Q1, 0, union Q2, 0. Q0, 0 is Q0, Q1. Q1, 0 is Q2. And Q2, 0, I don't have a transition for that. So that's why I am getting Q0, Q1, Q2. So obviously this is old state I am getting. So I will not again, I will not uh, show it again. Now Q0, Q1, Q2 for 1. Q0, 1, union Q1, 1, union Q2, 1, I am getting this. Similarly for Q1, Q2, 0 means Q1, 0, union Q2, 0, I am getting this. And for Q1, Q2 for 1, Q1, 1, union Q2, 1, Q1, 1 is nothing but Q2, Q2, 1 is nothing but Q2. So I am getting Q2. Now I have to show for Q2. Q2, 0, I don't have a transition, so that's why 5. Q2, 1, I am getting Q2. So now I am getting old state, repeated state. So I will stop my procedure here only. And uh, how will I how will I write the final state in uh, DFA? See, start state of D NFA will be same as the start state of DFA. And final state, see here, Q0, Q1. At least one of the states should be final state in NFA. Then that state will also become final. So Q0, Q1, Q1 is final. So this will also become final. So that's why this circle means final state. Okay. Now, uh, Q1 obviously it is final state in NFA. So this will be final in uh, DFA also. So circle means this is also final. Q0, Q1, Q2, one of the state. Q1 is final here. So this is also final. Q1, Q2, Q1 is final. This will also become final. And Q2 obviously it is not final in NFA. So this is uh, non-final in DFA also. So Q0 my, is my start state. And these states are my final state. So now I have uh, constructed a transition table. Now easily from the transition table I can construct the transition graph also. So see here. Uh, this is the transition graph for the given NFA. Okay. Thank you.